Hey guys, welcome to day 23 of the 28 days data science AI Gen AI challenge. So today I'm going to take the discussion of model deployment to the next stage. Okay, so I've already spoke about the model deployment. If you want to know about it, you can click here. Okay, and at the same time, it's me again having uh, ha having experience in data for last 14 years, working as a data architect, data engineer, data scientist, as, the, and as well as data trainer, right? So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to enhance the concept of model deployment with a code for you, okay? So model deployment technique, the concept comes from the concept called MLOps. So we design the model, we deploy the model, and we make sure that the, dip, the model is in operations by look, doing a lot of things, for example, monitoring, governance and all. Okay, so I'm going to take an example of Spam and Ham SMS classifier, or you can say a detector to uh, understand what is a Spam and Ham. Okay, so if you find anything, information which is wrong or something like that, you can always email me in this, this is my email address. Okay, if you want to ask question also, you can do that very quick so i'm just going through the slides again what we have done today okay so model deployment is nothing but a process of deploying the machine learning as well as a deep learning product into a production environment okay it's very very important to know that it's very important to productionize your code because if you don't productionize your code then you won't be able to understand or you won't you, you won't be able to understand how good the code is how it can generate the revenue you won't have that any kind of roi of your model what you have done like building and evaluating and all okay so it's very very important to productionize the code if you want to increase the speed of the video you can do it as per your liking so i have explained this thing also so basically it is what happens is that we understand the problem correct first is the first step second extract the data third transform the data as per the requirement and then do the model building then the model building has its own process of model model building then model evaluation and all if it's good then we go ahead and do a model deployment the application what i show you is like was stream like it creates a web web app it can be done in locally or in a cloud okay now pickle file technically pickle file is as, as of sharing you can consider pickle file is like something like a netflix watch list okay which you don't go and re so basically if you go to netflix again you don't have to go and go to and search everything again so you can just go to your watch list and you'll know what is going to what, what kind of movies you would like to see something in the same sense okay i have i've showed you the code also here so this this is a first set of code where whatever whatever model you have trained whatever the things you have trained at the end of the code you have you should write a line saying then please store my file in the pickle file okay so technically what happened in that it saves your trained model so and you can reuse this model again and again later on when wherever you want to use it okay so where i'm this one second set of code this is the first set of code second set of code where i'm going to use i'm going to open the spam classifier dot pickle file again to use it to do my to productionize it or to uh, to use it in a web app kind of stuff okay for the web app i have used streamlit okay i have showed you an example yesterday which i'm going to show you again technically right so these are the step by step process which i'm going to do okay so first i'm going to train the model for the spam and ham data save the model in the pickle file then build the web app at the same time call the pickle file i would say okay which happens here itself then packaged into docker file and then deploy into the cloud environment so i'll focus till here the timing okay so i have i'm going to do this do this and do this in the next set of code which i'm going to show you okay so this is the output what is going to see seems like where uh, it says sms Director, I put forward a message into the test box and it has said that this is spam. Okay, so I'm going to take a pause here. Please go ahead and re try to rerun the code at your own local space. Okay, if you are facing any kind of issues, do let me know in the comment section. I'm happy to help you. Thank you guys. So we are at the code part of the video right now. To showcase Streamlit, I won't be able to showcase in the Google Colab. I have to use Jupyter Notebook. So let me open Jupyter Notebook. So this would open Jupyter Notebook. I have already created a program for you. So this is the program. Okay. This program technically 
helps us to detect the spam in hand. Let me try to explain the program. So I have divided the whole program in different different cells. I've already given comment at the start so that you will be able to understand what is being written there. So for example, the first the first cell talks about the libraries. The second cell talks about the extracting the data from the UCI li library. Okay, so this uh, already set data set. I'm going to use that. I'm, I have done some data processing, data transformation, converting the ham and spam from ham to zero, spam to one. Then I have used, I have uh, divided the data into train test plate. I've, I've done some processing on the data like count vectorizer, multinomial, new, new base. And I have used pipeline to combine these two models and run it. Okay. If you don't know any, if you have any question anywhere, please let me know. I'm happy to explain you in the comments. Okay. I have fit the model. I put forward the matrix, right? So I'm getting accuracy of somewhere around 99%, which is fantastic, based on the data set what I have. Okay. Then what I have done, it's very important. This this set of set of code. I have transferred or created a pickle file of the model what I have trained. Okay. The pickle file name is spam underscore classifier dot pickle. Okay. I have dumped it in. I have taken. I have taken. I have dumped. Taken. After I have taken text underscore clf as the pickle file. So basically, if you see, this is the object for the pipeline. So it extracts and it converts this object into a pickle file, which is already there. Already, already run. So basically, if you see, there's already a pickle file here, which I have run six hours ago. Okay, so I won't run it again. So this is the first part of it. The second part of it is I've already created a streamlit file. So this is uh, the streamlit file which I'm going to run to showcase the whole output with the help of a web app. So I've called the streamlit and the pickle. So I've extracted the pickle file. What what I have created. So technically, you can consider this pickle file as something like a saved game. Okay. So we, I have I have played the game and I've saved it at one 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 point. So I I don't have to redo it again. So something like that. The model has been recalculated. So and the model has been saved in the pickle file. So I don't I I don't recreate the model with the help of the Python code anymore. I have to just use the pickle file and to re, re I have to call it here and we will be, we will be able to start using it. There's a function which takes the pickle file, does a prediction whether this given sentence is a spam on spam on ham. So let me go ahead and showcase you the output now. Okay, so to showcase the output. I have to go back to my terminal. I have to stop here. I'll say stream late. Run all the things I have. I'm going to take spam SMS HTML stream late for PY and run. So it would open a web app for me. Perfect. I've already. So let's predict this. So this is a spam. Congratulations, you have won a free iPhone. Click here to claim your price. This is a spam. Random message. Okay, come back to school at one here. Let's see. So this says this is a not a spam. Okay, so this is a very good example of spam and ham with the help of Streamlit. Okay, remember this web app is hosted on a local host on my local host. Okay, so next thing what we can do is that we can use Docker and create an image of it and upload into a cloud so that anybody in the internet can use this other app. So I'll showcase you that in the next next day challenge. Okay, thank you. To check the code of the stream link, what I've showed you right now, you have to go ahead and click on this link. I've given this link in the description box. Then click continue to the link. It will bring you to a web page where you have to subscribe to the channel first, and then you can get the link. You click on subscribe channel. I've already subscribed. Let me go and get the link to the code. The code is in GitHub right now, which will give you the GitHub link here. Thank you for viewing the video.